Tanya Malone, the drug counselor from his high school. Let's take a look at Harold Letterman's scorecard through three. Okay, Bob, three to nothing. 30 to 27, Juan Diaz. Bob, I gotta tell you, Julio Diaz is fighting Juan Diaz's fight, and that's all there is to it. In the Angel Manfredi fight, in the Ricky Keeler's fight, Julio Diaz moved side to side, just like you saw there. He hasn't moved side to side once in his entire fight. He's standing in the middle of the ring, banging with Juan Diaz, and Juan Diaz is out banging him. I mean, Julio's gotta stop moving. And one other thing, Julio Diaz using that, those elbows illegally. Watch the elbows and the forearms. When Juan gets inside, Julio pushes him off with the Forearm, you can't do it. Three to nothing, Juan Diaz. And now you see that uh, Julio Diaz has turned southpaw, looking for something that will work against a buzzsaw. And there you see the jab. Turned southpaw, and he just jabbed right over his front hand, Lennox. And, you know, I'm, I'm an orthodox boxer, and my trainer always said, just learn one style and, and perfect that style. And there are some boxers that out there that can box both ways, but uh, only some that can make it effective. Once Julio Diaz languishes on the inside, Juan Diaz tags him. Those punches blocked by Juan Diaz. You see, and one of the... One of the things that happens here, Diaz, uh, uh, Julio Diaz is a pretty good puncher, but he has to shorten his punches up. And so he's not getting his normal power from his punches in order to be able to get to Diaz before, Di to one Diaz before he gets to him. You see that? They're like, almost like arm punches. They're not power punches. Partly because he's looking to get out of the way uh, while he's throwing the punches. You know, it's always easier going forward exactly. going, throwing punches than going backwards. When you're going backwards throwing punches, it's like you're taking some sting off your own punches. The other thing Juan Diaz has done through the first three rounds is he has paid attention to Julio Diaz's body. See, what Julio Diaz should be doing he should be taking that step back and letting Juan Diaz come into his punches and, st and stopping and coming out with his power punches. It's like bringing him into a trap. Take that step back, Juan's gonna come forward, then throw a combination. But that's not what he's doing. That's not what he's doing now. He has done it in the past, but he's, you know, he's doing all kinds of different things now, seeing what can work for him. End of the fourth round. And there is Juan Diaz's mom, Olivia. Juan still lives with mom and dad, Olivia and Fidencio, who are originally from Mexico. And it's got to be tough watching your son. Especially the way he fights. Uh, yeah. Bought his dad a ranch, tried to buy his mom a car. She said, no thanks, save your money. Give him water, give him water, give him water. Okay, just relax, son. Get that rhythm. Just relax. And here we see a good array of punches by both boxers trading punches. Let's go, let's go, check it out. Get that ice out of the way. Believe it or not, Julio Diaz, according to the CompuBox numbers, has been a hair busier, but Juan Diaz laying at a much better percentage. I don't recall the last time I've seen a fighter fight like Juan Diaz. There have been a few down through the decades. All right, it's pure blue collar, isn't it? Just well, a hard day's work. It's a hard day's work, but there's, I mean, you, you, you can't coach hand speed. He, he has hand speed. Two things you can't coach, hand speed and heart. And he has both of them. Yeah. 
And one of the reasons he's able to sustain this pace, he believes, is that he trains in an unusual way. He swims every day. And he believes that they have enabled him to keep punching like that for an hour. There's a lot of credit to his conditioning coach, Brian Caldwell. Again, it's Juan Diaz just putting volumes of punches together. Not all of it landing, but... But I tell you, it looks good, and it seems like he's in great shape when he does that. And, you know, it's a crowd-pleasing style when you, when you throw a combination, and it's a, like a six-punch combination. And it, Fans also love that. it also will catch the eye of the officials if it's a close round. <laughs> left hand by Julio Diaz, but then Juan comes back with a shot to the body. Nice. Is this where Julio Diaz needs to keep this fight? Well, Julio needs to do what he's doing, jab a lot, and, you know, use his reach, because right now, in close, he's at a disadvantage, I think. I think he should use his reach. So he wants to get Juan Diaz back into the rope so badly, but, you know, that's going to take a lot of work, take a lot of energy out of him. Plus, he's getting punched at the same time. Julio Diaz does good work to the body. Juan Diaz comes back with a flurry of his own. And right hand punctuated that combination. Julio Diaz been in the gymnasium with his older brother since he's six years old. So he is uh, he has seen a lot of this, but never in a fight as a professional. Juan Diaz just a brilliant combination at the end of the round. Ya se cansó el vato. Ya se cansó. Pero tiene que hacer algo. You have to do something. No let this guy hit you like crazy. He's pushing you like a woman. When you push him, he moves back. And then he pushes you back. Don't let him do that. Push him. He's tired. You have to use your arms. We cannot be yelling from out here. He's got to come from you. All I got to do, stay low behind a jab. I need more jab. Okay. Stay low behind the jab. Stay low behind the jab. Okay. I got to do. The body, the body work is good. Okay. Check it out. Good, good. If you look inside the CompuBox numbers from round five, it really speaks to what Juan Diaz is all about. He landed 56 of 115, 55 of 109 power shots. There's no jab there. <laughs> One of six with it. Forget about the jab. He's going to just fight his fight. And, and you know, he's not even breathing. He looks really relaxed and comfortable in there. He says that school is his real job and boxing is just a pastime but you don't fight like this if it's something that's a pastime you you've put in the work bob papa larry birch at lennox lewis from hoffman estates illinois just outside of chicago the sears center juan diaz in the blue julio diaz in the green in a lightweight unification bout juan diaz in the blue has controlled the action with a relentless attack on Julio Diaz. And Julio seemed kind of frustrated there for a moment. Tried to use his head to push Juan Diaz back into the ropes, but the referee warned him. Gino Rodriguez, our referee. You know, Juan Diaz does not have the picture-perfect prize fighter's body, and that can deceive opponents. They think he's soft. They think you can push him around. You can't. As a kid, his dad took him to Willie Savannah's gym. And uh, Willie took a look at the chubby kid and said, this kid won't last two weeks. And years later, they're still together. Nice. We've seen a lot of the same here through almost six rounds. What can Julio Diaz do to change this tide of Juan Diaz that keeps rolling in? Well, 
Well, like I, like I said, he needs to take a step back and allow Juan, Juan Diaz to come and, and step into the pocket. Then throw his combination. But right now, what he's allowing Juan to do is throw a combination of punches, which Julio's getting hit with like three out of uh, six of the combinations. And, you know, it's not looking too good on, on the judges' cards. Yeah. Well, and that's the key here, Lennox. This looks like another round for Juan Diaz. If it is, that could put him ahead six to nothing. and means he just has to win one of the remaining rounds to win the fight. Unless, unless something happens that doesn't look like it can happen. Juan Diaz has been down a couple times. Eliezer Contreras dropped him back in 2003, got up to win a decision in that fight. What a combination from Juan Diaz, most of it missing. And Julio lands a combination after the bell. There's David Diaz, the other part of this trifecta of lightweight title holders. He hails from Chicago, former U.S. Olympian, who actually moved down in weight since turning pro and He's another workman-like kid. He, he looks like it's a boring fight for him, but I know he's taking good notice of, of both fighters and he's looking at his brother, other brother from another mother. <laughs> let, let him feel your punches. He's just going easy with it. You have to hit him hard. You have to win this fight. I don't know where you're going to get it from, but you have to win this one. you got to win all the rounds. You haven't done any boxing. Relax. Get on your rhythm. Get your rhythm. Bring it out. You gotta stay tight. And there is Mom Olivia. Juan Diaz's mom looking on anxiously as we get set for the start of round number seven. Fuck. Harold Letterman having having scored through six. Six rounds to nothing. Sixty to fifty-four. Juan Diaz. Bob, I gotta tell you, I gotta answer your question as to what Julio Diaz can do. He can start to move side to side, use that entire okay, ring and okay, box. Okay, He's a very good oh. boxer. Anybody who's seen him before knows he can box. He hasn't boxed in six rounds. His choices are box or lay down and let the referee count to 11. And that's the only two things he can do. I mean, he can't fight like this. He's fighting Juan Diaz's fight, and he's getting out punched. Six to nothing, Juan Diaz. If he could box him, he would box him. No. Larry, Larry, he's fighting like he's got a, a high ankle sprain or turf toe. I mean, he ain't moving. No, well, that's because Diaz is right in his chest. And Lennox, Larry, that's what Juan Diaz brings. He, dictate, he dictates the terms of the fight. He gets people to fight his fight. See, after Juan Diaz throws his combination, he has to think defense after that because obviously Julio's gonna come back with his punches. He's just waiting for Juan to finish throwing punches, then he wants to come back with his own punches. Still, Julio's trying to put, push Juan back, but it's still not working. Uh, it, it, it's very noticeable still. But Diaz really doesn't get much, Julio Diaz doesn't get a lot of leverage on his punches at close range. Now you see Juan Diaz is jabbing the, the boxer. And it's a good jab, it's a good solid jab, and it's fast and crisp. Swelling under the left eye of Julio Diaz in the green. So that Juan Diaz can take a little bit of a blow this way if he wants to during a round and just get by on his jab. According to the copy box numbers in this round, Juan Diaz has landed 17 of 28 jabs. That's 61%. That's not even part of his game plan. He's, he's just a fighter. A real fighter. Not that Julio Diaz isn't. He is a very solid fighter. Juan Diaz had 110 amateur fights. Turned pro at the age of 16 in Mexico. And he's opening up on Julio Diaz again. And this, and this kind of a flurry will steal around if it's close. 
Juan did a good thing while he was throwing that combination.